Welcome to PostProjects.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade to 4.2 and still be able to use Homebrew in your backup applications. Just to show you, right now we are on 4.0. Sorry for the horrible TV, by the way. Gets the job done. As you can see, system is on 4.0. First thing you're going to need is the post pack, recent post pack on postprojects.com. Extracted to an SD card. You can see that. And then we're going to put the SD card into the Wii to get started. I go to the main screen here. And to get started actually the first thing you want to do is make sure you do the system update through the system menu. Do not use Wanko's updater. It bricks Wii's. Sometimes it works Sometimes it doesn't. When I come back, that will be on 4.2. Alright, you'll now notice I am on 4.2 firmware. So we're going to go back to the main menu. And you'll see there's no homebrew. That sucks. Alright, until we get the post pack and get it back on here. Hit your SD card here. Blah, blah, blah. Sit next to all this. Alright, that's going to load. Banner bomb. And this is what you would actually do to get homebrew installed again. So we're going to wait for this to give us the option to press number one. The only thing we really care at this point is to get homebrew installed. We do not need to install DVDX or boot me. Uh, you can if you want. There's been a few people on the site having issues with that. So I highly recommend to simply install Homebrew and then you can go back to the other apps later. So we're just going to hit A to continue. We're going to arrow up to install the Homebrew channel. And then yes to continue. It's going to install. Success. And simply exit. We're boom back into the homebrew channel, and the first thing we're going to do is run the Trunka bug or store. Just hit A on that and load. Okay, options here. Um, we're going to press B to choose no iOS reload, and then wait till it says oop, B, and then wait till it says number one and press it. To, and then go to downgrade iOS 15. So we're going to push 1. We're going to go down to downgrade iOS 15 and hit A. And it's going to prepare to downgrade. And where it says load iOS from SD card, we need to hit A every time we see this. I know that's not the best uh, picture there, but you guys get the idea. Just keep hitting A. And every time you see that message. Okay, and it's going to go back into the homebrew channel. And we're going to the Chunka bug restore again. 
and then we're going to choose iOS 15 here. So just arrow over until you get it. And then we're going to uh, hit A. And then we're going to push number one when that comes up. All right, we're going to choose iOS 15 here. So just arrow over to that, and then when it comes up, just say press number one to start. We're going to hit one to start the application. And then we're going to choose the iOS 36 menu, which is already highlighted. And we're going to hit A. And we're going to go down where it says install iOS to slot. We want that to be 36. We want hash check trunka to be yes, which it already is. We want uh, ES identity, yes. And we want NAD permissions to also be yes. So we're gonna arrow over to change that one to yes, and then we're gonna hit A. up on the installed patch. And again, every time you see load iOS from SD card, hit A. Okay, and again, it's gonna go back. And we're going to go in again to the chunk of restore. And this time we're going to choose 36, which it already is. Hit A. And wait till you get uh, that number one option. And when you get number one, hit that. And at this screen, We're going to choose Restore iOS 15. You guys can see that. Restore iOS 15. Hit A. And again, every time you get load from SD, hit A. And then A when it says Start Installation. And A to Exit. Now we're done with the Trunka Restore.